Good evening, it's Wednesday night. Um, we're doing our weekly deliveries as we do normally after work. Elliot finishes uni, I finish work, and then uh, we get the casks and kegs dropped off um, either Wednesday or Thursday. Just while we're here, I've got a few things to talk about. Shouldn't be a long video tonight, actually, but a few, a few things to talk about. One, I use too much water cleaning, so I'm just topping this back up. Um, it will overflow, it's guaranteed. Every time it gets me. I'm desperately going to try and keep my eye on it and make sure, hopefully, that doesn't happen this time. Um, we put the auxiliary findings in for the big 16 cast brew, and that's currently um, starting to drop the temperature now. We are 11.3, and we'll rack that possibly Saturday while we're brewing, or maybe Sunday morning we'll come in. Um, I've got eight casks of Most and Dragon in Fermenter 1. Fermenter 2 is empty. And on Saturday, we'll be brewing another eight Murgy straight. Um, fortunately, as you might have spotted, ta-da, the casks have arrived. So 24. Um, they are set the second hand. Who did they used to be belong to? Let's have a look. Mill. They've kind of blotted out the uh, Mill Valley Brewing. Mill Valley Brewing. I don't know if they're still going, but if you are, I've got your old casks now. Um, so we've got 24 on there, which is obviously more than enough to rack the 16 casks of Murgi. And I've got these now, which have come in from the trade and a few more out there. So uh, we'll get those filled with the Moston Dragon. And I've got a few spares for the next batch of Murgi as well now. So pressure's off with, with packaging them. I'm quite happy now to build a little bit of stock going into the winter while the electricity is still under control in terms of price, for us at least, uh, because we're fixed till February. Um, and before the grain prices go up, um, we'll build a little bit of stock in advance. Don't want too much because it doesn't last forever, as you know, um, but definitely enough to carry us through into, uh, into January. Um, we had our first environmental health inspection. Um, lady from the council came round worked with us to make sure uh, it didn't conflict with ours and stuff. Um, clean bill of health, happy with absolutely everything. Um, no negatives. Uh, I was advised to have a dedicated hand wash sink. So you won't see me washing in the, anything in this sink, at least on video. You won't see me any, washing anything else in this sink, of course. Um, and making sure we had, you know, gloves, soap, towels, first aid kit, blue plasters, um, painted sealed floor smooth and easily cleanable which it is um, it's starting to show a little bit of wear here and there where we've been dropping some casks on it but that's okay and then we went through the whole process from the grain over there making sure it's stored off the ground vermin control making sure we had that under control batch traceability which I've talked about before but the serial number on the bag is traceable through the brew software right through to the um, to the pub that gets delivery of the cask. So if ever there's a recall, we can manage that. Um, everything she asked, we had we had covered. So um, I quite enjoyed the, the conversation, actually. It um, helps me to sort of explain the process sometimes to, to see gaps. There's a couple of little things that I think I'll do, not as a result of the inspection, but just um, little gaps that came up um, in conversation that, that um, we can just optimise our process a little bit, really. I'll cover those in another video. Um, how's my water doing? Now oh, we're okay for a couple of minutes yet. Oh, update. Jack's just texted me. He has tapped the vacant gesture. Um, it's not on yet, but it's in line to go on next. So, um, as the current pail that's on, which is, I guess, possibly mine, um, as that finishes, um, then Vega gestures next up. So there's a very good chance if you were to visit Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday, possibly Sunday, uh, you should be able to get a pint of Harry's Vacant Gesture from Harrison's Brewery. Uh, if you don't watch his channel, you should. Um, you probably do, because most of my subscribers came from him directly. But if there's anyone that's found us independently of Harry, Harry Brew 69 on YouTube, uh, you can watch it being made there. And um, if you're in the Northwest, um, maybe get yourself over to Middlewich and have a go. It's a lovely, lovely beer. So this weekend, 
uh, still beer festival season actually this weekend we've got the Sheffield Beer Festival where we've got Most and Dragon on um, that's at Kelham Island um, I was going to try and get up there but the trains are all over the place I don't think the trains the specific trains are on strike but I think there's a knock on effect because on National Rail and the train line I'm getting lots of warnings about you know you might be stranded in Sheffield Martin very kindly offered me the use of his narrowboat to uh, to stay over but I do need to be back in the morning um, I've got meetings with uh, the real job on Friday morning and I, I really can't can't miss them um, plus I'm getting some tyres put on the dray um, tomorrow at home um, and it's an 8am till 8pm appointment so I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to be free so um, if it's you know right at the end of the day then I wouldn't be able to get up there in time anyway the bloody thing's overflowed I told you Every single time it gets me. Right, let me deal with that. Back in a minute. Crisis averted. Anyway, <laughs> Elliot's dealing with it now. We just dumped dumped what we could into the mash tun and he's rescuing it. Is that empty now? Yes. Just leave the valve open, mate. Um, where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Sheffield. So, yeah, Sheffield have got Most and Dragon. Um for their festival this weekend Davenham Cricket Club near Northwich I think are possibly also this weekend check the internet Davenham Cricket Club Scouts Festival you'll find it um, they've got a Murgy Strait and then next weekend is a Middlewich Beer Festival where we'll have all three beers on um, Murgy Strait Most and Dragon and Get Lucky um, and I'm just about to deliver, deliver those in advance as well to the, uh, the British Legion where it's going to be held so, let's go get some deliveries done.